We have three drills for you viewers at home in three minutes. Think you Ooh, can do it? Ooh, putting me on the clock. On okay, the clock. let's get going. Go. Three drills. Number one, you need to get your ball position. By the way, at home, try practicing with ping pong balls or limited flight golf balls. You can hit those inside. Ball position, vital for chipping and pitching. Doesn't get any simpler than this. Put a club between your feet. Go what I call 50-50. Get that ball in the middle of the stance. Just turn your front foot out. Having the same ball position every time really helps develop solid contact. That's number one. Number two, my pet shop special. You're in. Okay. Okay, so I teased that you might want to get a little sort of, I don't know what it is, perhaps in a birdcage, found it in a pet shop. Over acceleration is just as bad as deceleration in the short game. Now, teaching, over teaching people to accelerate properly is not so easy, but should you visit the pet shop, you can learn to swing my little uh, toy there back and forth without it going ding a ling a ling a ling a ling. Now, if you over accelerate, what you'd find, you're going to hear that. Now, this one isn't so much for hitting golf balls with, but it's getting the feel. It's a bit like the old Ernest Jones thing where you'd swing away. You always swing this way first, swing towards your target, back and through, back and through and let your legs move a bit, that would put some real smoothness into the stroke. Try and get the string and the ball to move in harmony. Not so easy, is it? No. Towards, no, no, towards me oh. first. You have to go towards me first, and then back and through. Now you'll be in sync. That is a great drill. Yeah. It's a great rhythm to have, and let's see you do that with the stroke. Here we go, so smoothly back, smoothly through, that was beautifully, beautifully struck, I must say. And yes, you, you're very good. We're two for two. And the last one would be, again, using ping pong balls or something like that, or even just practice. Learn to tap down over a two by four. So we'll just put a two by four back here. You're going to do this okay. one, Sarah. I'm going to put it about one grip length or thereabouts behind the ball. Always your one grip length. It seems to be the, <laughs> ma it does. It seems to be the magic amount. So you're just going to just put a touch of sharpness there. So let's get the ball what would be in the middle of the stance. Let's have a smooth stroke, but let's have some descent. So you're going to swing down without touching that two by four. Just a, just a little tap here, mustn't touch a two by four. That was great, and that would be great for sure. Particularly good for chipping here. 